All righty. Eighth grade week five text evidence assessment. Here's what it looks like. I'm about to post this video right here. Um, on this assessment, what we're doing is looking for citing text evidence from a variety of sources to explain why the colonial army, the, 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 the small, like, you know, kind of poorly equipped colonial army was able to defeat the, the much larger British army. And we're going to do that by accessing your week five notes and completing this uh, Canvas quiz. So what we just did on the Zoom right now is everybody just opened up slide 12 of their week five skill practice to look for that feedback. And so you can click here to do that. Here's your week five notes. Here's the text evidence rubric. And then in order to start this assessment, I'm pretty sure there's like a little button at the bottom of the screen that says like start quiz or something like that. So make sure to hit the start quiz button and then you'll have these four questions to take care of. Uh, question number one is matching. So you're gonna do this little drop down menu and you're gonna match the quotes over here to the claim over here. The same three claims that we were working on in your week five notes um, that the colonial army used guerrilla tactics, they had a French alliance, and they also benefited from British mistakes. So there's three quotes here. You're going to find the quote that matches up with the right claim. Um, and then on note level two, you're going to take those same three quotes, I'm pretty sure the same three quotes, and put uh, put the right one uh, into this sentence starter. So copy and paste this sentence starter, control copy, control C to copy, control V to paste, copy and paste it down and then find the short quote. So you're looking for like around five or six or seven words or something like that. Not like the whole long thing. We want to practice putting a short, a shortened quote inside a sentence of your own words. So that's the level two. The level three, you're going to open up your week five notes. Um, those are going to be here. And you're going to um, find, so you're going to like open up the week five notes. Here's the three documents we were working with. Um, if you don't have anything on your notes, that's fine. You can just open up the three documents um, and find the text evidence right now. But you're going to find uh, the two best pieces of text evidence and copy and paste them into the box below and then explain why that text evidence supports the claim it's connected to. And here's an example answer. So you're just gonna, um, in the box below, say here's my text evidence and here's my explanation. I chose this quote because it shows, you know, and then connect it to the claim. Your level four, which I thought about just kind of saying it was optional because we haven't really talked about this, but I think all of you guys will have a pretty good op opportunity to do well on it. We didn't really practice this part of the rubric, but I want you to tell me and um, make a judgment call. So take a look at the sources themselves, the three sources I gave you, and then make a judgment call about the sources. Which of the three sources seems the most reliable and helpful for students of history? And explain your choice. But yeah, if you want that one to be optional, that's fine, because we didn't really actually practice that this week. But at the same time, I bet, you know, I bet three out of five of you that tr that practice or that try this uh, will, will, will probably do really, really well. Okay, that's the video instructions. I'm looking forward to working with you on this.